Hi, this is Sandy Egan with Keller Williams Realty and today I'm talking about scared homeowners and how we can help. If you are looking to sell, go ahead and click the box saying you'd like a value for your home in today's market. And if you're looking to buy, please click asking for all area homes. Now back to scared homeowners. Yesterday I was out knocking on some doors looking for some more homes that we could put on the market for our buyers and when I knocked on the door I could tell that someone was home and in fact their little two-year-old a very cute naked little boy ran up and looked out the window but no one came to the door and that's not too unusual for someone not to answer the door to someone they don't know but I had forgotten to leave the piece of paper with the statistics that my letter referenced when I was talking about values in the neighborhood and in our town. So I went back and looked up their name and address so that I could actually mail that statistics part to them. And I saw that they had a foreclosure auction scheduled. So, you know, I'm pretty sure that that homeowner probably the mom. I don't think the dad was home at that time, but I'm pretty sure they were hiding. And that is just so sad for me. It breaks my heart because I know, and, and from personal experience, that when your home is upside down, when you have a foreclosure auction scheduled, when things are all wrong and you don't know how to make them right, it is really scary. It is terrifying. And I hate it when people like that don't know what to do next. Now, sometimes we bring things on ourselves, okay? You, you take a look at what happened, what kind of DNA you had on the situation, and then move forward. So sometimes it happens to you, sometimes you do it to yourself, but either way, you need to know what to do next. And we don't talk about it so much anymore because of our market has grown up to the point where we don't have as many people upside down in their homes or we don't have as many people in dire trouble, but it's still there. So if you've got neighbors, if you've got friends, if you yourself have trouble with your home that involves making payments, not knowing what to do next, you're financially in a bind, where do you turn and it involves your home, I'm glad to help. It might not include me selling your house. It might actually mean talking to someone else and looking at the bigger picture and finding a way to keep your house as a way of making your big picture whole again. Give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. We have to talk and we have to talk now so that you can have the most options to get you and your family and your cute little kids that come and look at the door when you're hiding a better future. We'll talk soon.